Come on down, boys. No dead. Hey guys, in today's video I want to talk about Blastoise, who received a huge buff on his Water Spout Rapid Spin build. Before Water Spout in Rapid Spin was able to hit 8 times, now it lasts the entire duration. So Water Spout hits up to 16 times per Rapid Spin, so absolutely massive buff. For the items we go a bit fancy, we use now the special specs, because 16 hits, it has pretty good scaling as well, I think 40% per hit. So a fully stacked special specs is a lot of AoE damage added to Water Spout. Then we run Scorch it so we can stack. And we also run Buddy Barrier because we know Buddy Barrier is needed. If you don't want to stack, you can also just run Focus Band, also totally fine. Or maybe a Choice Packs, but I'm not the biggest fan of that. I'd rather have like, you know, two or three stacks of um, Special Specs. Here early game, we will just look for some trades, and you only see me waddling towards the goal. Get our first score in. And yeah, it's a very nice buff that Water Sport received, and I think it's finally back to being something you can for sure play if you want to play a bit more of a damage-oriented. Blastoise, right? The other one is Surf Hydro Pump, which is much more... Um, TC and teamfight oriented, but this one is very fun as well. Get another stack here. We kind of lucked out. Sadly, you know what happens in this game is when you press an ability on someone and then press B. So I have advanced controls on there, right? But advanced controls can bug out or bugs out on Switch when you use an ability and you press B. It will always go on an enemy character and not a white Pokemon. So same happened for them. We both missed the Audino. I still get it in the end. Um, yeah, let me just try to get this lasted. I don't know what this <laughs> Bulbasaur was doing. I think he was a bit mad from the early game already. Um, but yeah, we just want to get level 5, not get our water spout. So this build needs a bit. Hydro Pump is very strong on 5. In the other build, you already have very strong spout spike. Water spout is pretty weak on its own. You just need level 7. For level 7, you can't really do much. So we don't also don't run the muscle band. So in lane, make sure you don't trade too much because without muscle band, you just have much, much less ladering, trading. Here, I try to steal away a APOM. Can't quite do it. So yeah. You have to kind of be safe until level 7, and then it's much, much better. So, is this better than Surf Hydro Pump? It might be, honestly. Here, I tried to give the last hit over to Vigita, because I thought he would actually get much more XP from it. I wanted him to be closer to level 4, since we need Vigita from level 4. Didn't quite get it. Here, I tried to steal the last hit away. Looking for a small dunk again. Already got some few stacks now. Again, there's sadly no indicator for how, much st how many stacks you have. Uh, so, gotta keep it in your mind. Th picked up 3, get another quick stack. And just for these scenarios, we still have the score sheet, just so we can get it done. Um, yeah. Otherwise, in bot lane, we get interrupted quite often. Of course, you can go to top lane. Top lane often is easier to stack on, just because there's also other characters like Lucario or something that also want to stack on top lane. Much more common that they play on that lane. But yeah, I like playing bot lane just for more experience, so we just run the thing. Uh, here, I don't really care. I'm just, I just run over. Again, we unstop a bit as well, so we can go through flux zones without any issues. And now you can see it. All you have to do is press rapid spin and hold on Water Spout for the entire duration, and that's all you have to do. So that's what it does again, and it lasts now the entire Rapid Spin duration, which was a huge, huge buff before it, again, was only half the duration, afterwards you could only auto-attack. So you have to keep this move speed buff the entire time as well. And yeah, very strong. The only thing I noticed that if the enemies have a lot of auto-attack characters, right, you still die very fast with this. Here, the sadly gets stolen away. Um, Greninja was nice enough to give me the over the last hit. Sadly, him trying to give me over the last hit lost us the last hit. But yeah, he just goes in, gets two characters, I'm just running over the... Ivysaur. And this bit is very good at just running over Squishy with no escapes. Here, Serena should never kill the goal. Um, it's one of those goal scenarios again that I feel like I talk about every single video. But yeah, we shouldn't kill the goal right here. We don't really have good split push characters. I mean, I guess I could split push when I'm level 9. And yeah, so he breaks the goal. And now I'm just going to look for some uh, these two. I'm just going to use my Unite move here. Bam. Dock up two characters. Do a lot of damage as well. My Unite actually also has very good special stack staling. So the more special specs, stacks I have, the more damage my Unite does. And we just spin through them. Also remember, the middle of the, your Rapid Spin does damage as well. So you always want to be on top of someone because then you get your Rapid Spin damage and Water Spot damage at the same time. So you do much, much more damage. Here I was thinking maybe I can invade a bit, but not really. I'm just going to reset. Can't afford to die. I see a buff is up, no one is taking it, so even though I'm Blastoise, I'm a defender, I maybe shouldn't farm. I'm more like a damage defender, right? Like, I would consider this bit more like an all-arounder, so pretty similar to other all-rounders, I do need experience to farm as well. It's very important to farm for me experience, because the higher I am, the more damage I will do, the more I will also survive longer team fights. And again, I'm a, I'm a damage dealer. This bit, you are a damage dealer. I see it being very low, just blinking, and I just run them over, just mow them down with Rapid Spin Water Spout. The Greninja somehow unites me, and I'm like, okay, sure. This I'm, I'm totally fine with this, though. Greninja Unite has one of the highest currents in the game, so I'm actually happy dying here, as bad as it sounds. He will not have Unite for the next team fight, which means there's a high chance we will get the next objective, just because he doesn't have his Unite move up. And I will have it up, right? So I didn't I didn't use mine there, I used it on bot lane. So he's going to have a hard time team fighting the next objective, which will be another Dreadnought. 
And if we get that, we get another huge XP lead. Again, no one is taking the buff, so I'm just like, okay, sure, I will take the buff before the XP gets wasted. Why not? And again, Blaster with the buff is also pretty fine. I do pretty good auto-attack damage. Red buff is very nice as well. I do auto-attack from far away. So, and again, without the muscle band though, we don't be not be auto-attacking too much in this build anymore. We can obviously still we still auto-attack between rapid spins though, because again, a boosted auto-attack of boss toys makes you makes your cooldowns be reset. Rapid spin has a very high cooldown, as you can see, after it being used like on a 10-second cooldown. So yeah. Here I'm just zoning my enemy team away, three seconds on dread. I want to be very aggressive. Um, but this is a kind of issue right here. Like I actually just get auto-attacked and die. Um I should have canceled my rapid spin and used the night move for body barrier there. But honestly, I didn't expect to just get dropped this fast. But again, I, as I said before, it's very easy to die with this build still. If the enemies have like uh, Duras or Cinder Aces or Greninjas, you do get auto-clicked to death quite fast. And I don't run Focus Band because I just don't have space for it. Again, I could run Focus Band over Special Specs, so I feel like the Special Specs makes this build do so much more damage, right? Also, since it's like Water Spot is AoE damage, so if you hit two or three characters, it's just a crazy DPS increase that we have from it. Just farming for level 13 very fast. Getting my ability upgrades in. And yeah. We see Rotom is up. I should have maybe been there. I get this Rotom. I mean, I will walk slowly towards it now. But those Sardinas are very important. And I'm going to walk towards top lane. Sadly, I was too late already. I really thought I had more time. I can't underestimate how fast the Rotom actually dies here. And we just look for a kill. We see the... Yeah, this guy is actually already dead. And we see just one Hoopa away. I'm just going to blink into them. I can unite move one more time if I want to. So I'm doing it right now. 3.40 on the clock. So easy time for me to still unite. We don't really get anything with this. Any Bloss is still fighting me. I'm just going to turn around here, though. Like, am I unstoppable, right? I'm just going to Water Spout. Very, very close. Get the Venusaur. And this guy luckily can't kill me either. Since he also ran out of Water Spout duration at some point. I mean, just space. We level 13. Again, was the last time we could Unite. Blasters Unite doesn't have the highest cooldown either. I'm just going to farm a few Corp Fishes now and stuff. But I don't really have to farm anymore. Level 13 is the level I want to be. Got my Rapid Spin Plus as well at this point in the game. So... Don't really need much more experience than this, especially on someone like Blastoise. But if we can, if no one else takes things, we can still as well. We still need a few Corp Fishes because my Unite Kudam is still, will still not be up otherwise, but yeah. And now we just spin again, spin through the Hooper, he luckily gets out. Has the Hyperspace, I can't really interrupt it, sadly. So the only problem with this build is it has no CC, right? I mean, outside of your Unite move, you don't really have any CC. So you're not really a tank that peers. You, you, know, you just want to dive backline and kill backline is pretty much what you want to be what, what, what you want to do is be annoying as much as possible. But my dress is spawning now. I'm actually getting close to 14. And if I'm if I was if I'm 14, I'm always happy. Just means I will do more damage. Get more defense, get more special attack as well, which means my abilities do more damage. And we can judge twice to steal. Now I'm like, oh man, I'm so close to 14. So my instant decision is okay, I want 14. I have 20 seconds, top Ardinos up. I'm just gonna farm them instantly, get 14. Because it makes such a huge difference. So we take one Ordino. I didn't have to take the second one. I was very close to it. I could have just taken a Corfish closer to Zepdos. Probably would have made more sense. You know, take the one to the right of me. But yeah, we get 14 here. And now we go into Zepdos positioning. Then we set the Dura. And right now the meta can be that Dura drones just flip Zepdos on spawn. Which can happen. Again, you can... Yeah, or what I'm saying. Exactly. The Dura on the enemy team instantly flips Zepdos, unites it, and tries to get it. Which I just try to go for him, try to stun him. And luckily, my Dura gets it. This is pretty bad right now. I really hate this. It's like we're kind of going back to a Dragon Knight meta. Because you can't really do anything about this. Like Dura, you can't really walk. He just uses his Unite move. And you can't really walk in. His Unite move burns Zep. He burns Zep. He does crazy auto attack damage, right? So, yeah. It was pretty uh, pretty bad meta now. Again, kind of was a Dura just flipping Zepdos on spawn. If you allow them to walk in. So that's why kind of you have to be on Zepdos. Here we just kill the Grinja very fast. You can see how much damage I do. It's very, very nice. And yeah, so I've got to be very aware now again that the end or like that Dura just run, especially when they're losing, they will just instantly do Zepdos as soon as it spawns. And I mean, I guess it's the right play, right? If you're losing, might as well just try to burn on Zepdos. I, I hate that's the thing because I hate winning games like this as well. Like I want to win the game with a fun team fight, But sadly, yeah, they released a very broken Zepdos damaging character again. You can also see him always burned on Dreadnoughts, right? But yeah, Blastoise Rapid Spin, I think it's very good again. It's very fun. I have to have to try it in jungle. The problem with in jungle, there's just so many good characters, right? When Blastoise early came out, he just played a lot in jungle just because he was so insane with this build. Um, promise there's just so many good junglers. But it's pretty fun in lane. I mean, Blastoise has pretty good laning phase, right? Just if you fall a bit behind with Rapid Spin, if you under level it, you will not do much. Also, again, you can, in case you don't know, you can use Unite into Eject Button. I didn't even, never have to do, like, I never had to do with this game. But yeah, you can do 
still unite into eject button. That's why we run eject button as well, and no other item because it's just so important that you have that team fighting, deciding team fight, maybe unite into eject button, and you can hit more characters, get so much more range. And yeah, I would recommend you guys try it out if you want to play more damagey defender. I mean, again, he feels like an all rounder, right? Pretty much just a damage melee. Um, we are pretty much damaged this game, managed to be top damage in our team. We managed to out damage both Duralodons in this game, doing 87,000 damage. And again, if you guys enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to roll another gameplay. If you want to see more of this, you can just keep watching. And I will showcase you another great rapid spin water spot game. Yeah, I saw it. Marketos. I remember Amaranth playing the Unite tournament in a bathtub. Uh, in a, in a pool, like, yeah, you know what I mean. Not bathtub, but uh, what's it called? In a pool. That was great. Yeah, it was <laughs> I still couldn't believe that was so funny, man. Hot tub in a hot tub, yeah, hot tub. How uh, did I not get to that word? There was a there was a content creator tournament and Amaranth was playing it. But I was like, I didn't see Amaranth in the uh Amaranth was not in the Pokemon Unite section. So I checked her channel and she was just playing the Pokemon Unite tournament, standing up in a hot tub in the like hot tub section. <laughs> so fucking in, in character. Actually, just hilarious. You can hate on Emeron as much as you want, but like, it's just hilarious, this character. It's just honestly hilarious. Wait, I was- wait! I was supposed to jungle, right? Did I fuck up? Wait, I said I'm going jungle, right? I just walked bot lane? <laughs> I just realized? <laughs> okay, what happened? <laughs> did I say I'm jungling? Wait, why did I just walk bot lane? <laughs> oh, that's- oops. You're quite the last second? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay. Try for distracting you, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm distracted, it's everything is good. That was, I mean, that was just hilarious. Honestly, just hilarious. I kinda need a stack, but I don't think I can stack right now. Maybe I can? Okay, I can stack. Ooh, nice. Please don't pick this up. Don't, please just... Hmm... And I just wish people... Like, I could ping that I have a stacking item. I wish I could just ping I have a stacking item. My Dura is playing... Sh no. Are you saying my Dura is playing Shelby? And leftovers? We have, have to just kill this guy, I'm just gonna blink on him. This guy has to die or we can't get red. Yes. I'm gonna try to zone the Pikachu. I can kill him. I'm gonna wolf after this. It's gonna kill him too. Okay, I just didn't want to die to him. Actually, Trick Hooper with Blastoise sounds insane. Don't I just see like a crazy amount? And I have to get faster.
go to both coins though, sadly, so I'm gonna stop on some experience. And Neki can hit easy Shadow Boards cause I go in as well. Sounds kinda insane. Just need the trick upgrades. I think that song was called All Night. All Night by SNSD. Was it not? Yeah, it was called All Night by Girl Generation. Yes. Um. Well, it's, uh... Alright, guess I go in. Like, oh my god, they both blinked away. I'm on the chase. Like, so he's just waddling away. He's just waddling away. Such a hilarious walking animation still. That was kind of bad. Can we kill him? Okay, just kill him. Let's go Pikachu. Oh no, Mamos Fine Unite move. He almost killed all of us. It's so hilarious how Mamos Fine just dies in his Unite move. The song is called Mamamoo Hip. Most top Lucarius play E speed, I think. But like it's always close between pub and E speed. It depends on what the rest of the team comps look like. Like Lucarius and comp competitive like to go power punch if their team has no last sitting for objectives. But if they have good last sitting for objective, they also they often just go E speed. You know, they kinda adjust to their team their team comp. I can unite one more time. I could say Unite one more time, I kind of use this now. I'm just gonna kill him. Fuck it. I think I... I wanna see if I can get it back up in time, but I think I can. And I can? No, I didn't get that last hit. Only triple kill. Search. Yeah, it's a bit of a stomp. Why do you think Steve? Uh, I'm actually dead. Uh, oh my god, he crit me in the last auto attack. Uh, I feel like that's a terrible idea. Is that actually- he's not- Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can still lose the game, by the way. What is- oh my god. That is not a good play, guys. <laughs> you don't do that. I can miss. How did they get it? Okay, just it's fine, just kill them, just kill them. No, it anyways, so it doesn't matter, but still. I mean, I guess it's, everything is fine. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, be mad then. Be mad. Okay, guys, be mad. Jesus. Like, we can't. <laughs> we lose, guys. We lose. Nice. Not a very solid blast this game. Not bad, not bad. The 80,000 damage game, not bad. Not bad at all. Nice play.